Nu e ciò uno svideo de Mont Blanc, maestestic, dosse e catorse. In este video vamos a ver una pluma fuente maestestic numero dosse. Un caso especial, este nunca fue usado hoy día es la primera vez que vamos a poner tinta en este pluma fuente. Estos fueron hechos desde 1960 hasta 70. Por eso, esto es un caso especial si tú encuentras uno que nunca fue usado. Ok, vamos a ver cómo este escribe, este, aquí está este sticker doble B que significa doble, ¿cómo se llama? Esa es un, una pluma que escribe muy grueso. Ok, vamos a ver de un otro ángulo. Take a look at the book Collectible Stars. And we see here the different models. The model 12 with this, this one and the model 14 which is this one only slightly larger than the 14 model and as you can see the differences in models were the normal one with the golden cap the whole body the same here but mainly these are the two normal pens in this series. They also made a, the same pen as a model 22 and the model, the larger one is a model 24. I only have a 22 model and we come to the third line these are basically the same pen, but with different nibs. This one has a 18 karat nib, this for example, and the model 22 has a 14 karat nib. Know that these fountain pens are my favorite fountain pens for daily use. You can see most of them are the smaller models. Here we have the larger model 14 and this is the model 20, 22. And today we are going to take a look at this pen for the first time it will be inked up. This is one of the few Mont Blanc pens which allows you to take it apart very easily and you can see even, even here if we take a look at this part you can see I didn't know that this part was a translucent plastic. This is the 18 karat gold nib and this model is the double V, double broad version. Let's see how that works with the ink. Actually these pens were made from 1960 to 1970. As you can see, all of them look like new. This says a lot about the quality of 
these pens. As you can see, I don't know exactly from which year, but at least they are from 19, they are 45, no, 46 years old because they were made only till 1970. Okay, this is the nib and let's ink it up. And now let's ink it up for the first time. What seems to be a Mont Blanc ink is a, my preferred ink. This is the Pelican ink, but I like these older, old-style Mont Blanc ink bottles. So we will be using the Pelican 4001 ink. You can see the ink window. Never. This pen had to wait at least 47, maybe, no, 46, maybe 47 years to be used for the first time. You can see now the ink window shows that the pen is filled. Few lines with this recently filled up pen. A very nice nib. We compare this to the other double broad nib I have. As you can see it writes fairly. Similar. As you can see, this one is a new pen. This is the other one which I have for quite a few years. Okay, the older pen. Recently filled pen, very similar. But as you can see, every pen was individually graded, so there's this slight difference between these pens, the nibs there. This one writes a little bit thinner than this other broad nib pen, double broad pen. For a finale 
six Mont Blanc pens in the same style. The double broad, the medium and the small nibs. On the right we have the Hotel 22 and as you can see the larger model is the model 14.